Yo, what's up guys, Zertonic here, and today I'm going to be showing PC players how to decrease input delay. This is another two-step um, way to decrease input delay on Fortnite and actually on other games as well, because none of this is actually inside the game. So I'm going to go ahead and get into it, and here we go. So the first thing you'll want to do is go on Google and type in timer resolution. As you can see, I already have it typed up because I've done it before. Um, and it's literally just this program right here, I believe. I think it's this one. Yep, and it's just timer resolution. After you do that, you want to download timer resolution. And it's going to bring you up to this after you get the setup done. It's pretty quick. And it's going to come up with the default value. Or, yeah, it's going to come up with the default value of either this or it's going to be like 1000. So you want to hit maximum and it'll take you down to this. And you just minimize it and play Fortnite, basically. With it open and once you do that it'll just increase your input delay and make your game feel a lot smoother it's really nice um next step is pretty easy as well you just want to right click on your desktop go to nvidia control panel if you do have amd there is nothing in this aspect that i can help you with but if you are having a video graphics card then you can use this method so normally it takes a second to open up Alrighty, and once you guys have nvidia control panel open you guys are going to want to go to manage 3d settings let this come up and i'm actually gonna maximize it so you guys can see everything and you want to scroll down and there's a mode right here called low latency mode and right here you want to put this on ultra now a lot of people will have this turned off but a lot of, most people don't even know about this setting but low latency mode basically just gives you less input delay so you want to put that on ultra and then you want to hit apply actually i don't even think you need to nope you just click off and you're good that's pretty much it. Pretty simple. I have some more tips for the next video, so I hope you guys enjoy. If you want to see a series of this um, lowering input delay, leave a like down below and comment if you guys have any other video ideas. Hope you guys enjoy it. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. I play on windowed full screen. It's because I play stretch. doesn't mean anything. Um, you get on here. You want to make sure that motion blur is off. Oh, hold on. You want to make sure that motion blur is off and that's it for this window um down here i will say confirm and release is good it is still preference but for a lot of players now are learning a controller that confirm and release with double edit binds is actually very strong so um yeah i do enjoy using that on controller so i could try out that as well next thing um i've also heard this is more of a psychological thing but it actually has worked for me on keyboard and controller um by turning off your net debug stats it actually takes your mind off of your ping and a lot of people play based on what they think their ping is so if you just don't worry about your ping and just play your own game then a lot of times turning this off can actually help you play better puts you almost in like a better mindset you know um okay so also this is on a controller things they can be done on console and pc you want to change your edit hold time to 0 0.250 and this is also if you have a separate bind for your edit that's not also switch mode because then you'll have delay obviously um yeah so we'll go down here the lowest dead zone you can play on without getting drift drift really isn't good i know some players do like to play with drift but if you're playing competitively then obviously you don't want to have drift so playing with the lowest dead zone you can play on without having drift is what you want to aim for um, also i have enable foot controller on with one percent one percent next big thing this is a big thing for console and pc um is by going into your settings here and actually changing to the opposite config and now i do i honestly have no clue why this works but it, it honestly does and it's one of those things that you won't know it works until you try it yourself so if you play on a ps4 controller switch it to the xbox platform and if you play on an xbox controller switch it to the ps4 platform i have no idea why it works but it does give it a try um yeah also you can go here and i would turn off um, which one was it it's Oh yeah, notify friends while playing. Just turn that off as well. Gives you a little bit less input delay. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get onto things on PC. So I'm gonna go ahead and get into that. So we're gonna go onto Google and you wanna type in DS4 Windows. 
and the first one that should come up should be this one by J2 Kings and you just want to download that and after you download the newest version of that what it's going to bring you to is this over here this little icon now I'm going to go ahead and show you what it's going to be like when you download it because when you download it um hold on a second you're going to get a folder like this and you should have some stuff like this in it now you'll have this hide guard helper thing and ds4 windows now this is using your controller bluetooth when you're on pc this gives you like literally when i tell you this gives you the less amount of delay you can have on pc it does a lot of players don't know how to use their controller bluetooth and this is how you do it this is one of the ways you can do it you can also use input mapper but then again you also do get less delay by doing it this way so i'm showing you guys the best way to do it now most of you guys already know how to connect your controller through bluetooth but i'll show you how to do that after i get this open um, you just want to run this hide guard helper thing first, and then once you run that, you'll run the DS4 Windows EXE, hit yes, and it will open you up into this menu here. This is the menu. Actually, it should bring you guys into this menu. And right now, if you have your controller connected, you want to disconnect it. Now it says status. This is showing the Bluetooth. Battery's on 12%, yikes. Um, yeah, this is showing the Bluetooth. So you guys know my controller is working Bluetooth. And if I go back to Fortnite, you know, um, you know, I'm working bluetooth you know so works pretty good now anyway i'm going to show you guys how to get it connected through bluetooth and how to get the le least amount of delay possible now what you want to do is you want to go down here and you want to go to your bluetooth settings you can turn this on and then you can hit go to settings now for those of you who don't know how to connect your bluetooth controller i'll show you here you just want to hit add a bluetooth device click this and then you want to hold your ps4 button and your share button at the same time until it starts blinking and then it will pop up here and you can connect it like that and then it should connect and say wireless controller connected and now a lot of people think that once they connect it they can just go straight into fortnite well you can't once you connect that then it should pop up here saying that you have a controller and you should be able to select a profile but we're going to go ahead and make a new profile just for the sake of this video um yeah we're just going to make a new file i'm just going to name it i'm going to name it fortnite save that there we go. Okay, we'll go back to profile and we're going to go ahead and edit that one. Now, first thing, if you go back to um, other, now it should be showing that we have this controller connected through Bluetooth still. But I'm going to select the Fortnite profile. And there we go. Now, if we go down to edit, we go to controller readings. Look at our delay. We have almost a four millisecond delay now, right? But if I switch to this profile, the other one that I have set up, and I go to edit and I go to controller readings. Now we have almost a one millisecond delay. So here's how we do that. Is it, here I'm gonna show you guys how we do that. Now, you wanna go to other and you want to change your BT, which stands for Bluetooth, pull rate to one millisecond. And this by default may say DualShock 4. You wanna change this to Xbox 360. And that's pretty much it for this part. Um, I mean, if you guys don't know how to use these for windows, you want to use your touchpad, you have to hit use as controls and you can map it to any button you want your keyboard, like your map, blah, 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 whatever you use it for. And now that we do that and we hit save, if we go back to our controller readings again, look how low our delay is. Now we have almost a one millisecond, um, input delay on controller with Bluetooth and it works just like it would on PS4. Now, the only thing is every time you want to play Fortnite, you have to open up this application and just run it in the background. Like just like um, a lot of people do for keyboard and mouse, the set timer resolution, they run that as well. It's a pretty light program, it doesn't really do much. And you just minimize it and it goes down to your taskbar. And now, I have my controller working perfectly fine on Bluetooth. And that is how to get the least amount of delay on controller on PC. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Hope you enjoyed. Have any questions, put them in the comment section. Make sure you like. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Make sure to use code RETONIC in the Fortnite item shop. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe.